Welcome back, it's me Lou, and we're here today for a very, very special look at one of my most prized possessions. So in all my years of gracing this beautiful planet, um, one day I came across this and I knew I had to have it and it's, it's, it, it entered my heart and it's never left. Um, this is my ceramic Chewbacca statue. It's beautiful. It's very weird. It makes me smile every time I look at it. <laughs> it makes me laugh like uncontrollably sometimes. Um, it's very big. It doesn't fit in the entire frame of this document camera. Um, if I had to guess, I would say it's about maybe nine inch, nine to ten inches tall. And it's so wild. Um, so yeah, this is like one of my most prized possessions, especially when it comes to Star Wars memorabilia. Um, I bought this guy maybe late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I was at a mall, one of the local malls in my area. I was with my uh, best friend, JC, and we were just combing around the mall like we normally do, or like we did back in the day. So we used to hang out at this one mall. It's called Stratford Mall. It's in, located in Bloomingdale, Illinois. And they used to have a KB Toys in there. Uh, there was a Toys R Us located a block away from the mall. So we, don't, we always head out to that area and just go hunt for action figures. And I remember I used to like going to that mall anyways because I don't know if there was something in the water. But for some reason all the girls there at the mall, they were always very cute. And they were always very well endowed in all the right places. So for me, besides looking at action figures, it was just a good place to hang out and do some sightseeing. Uh, I mean that's what we did when we were younger. And one of these stores popped up in the mall. It was a, it's kind of like a weird like flea market kind of deal. Uh, it was a, what I learned later learned is what they call kind of like a, cons I think it's co if I'm saying this correctly, it's a con consignment shop. So the way that this consignment shop worked is that uh, it was a very large area of space. And this space was divided into like dozens and dozens of sections. And then each section was kind of like, um, each section belonged to a, a different person. So a person might have their own personal belongings for sale in this consignment shop. So maybe like one person, they might occupy maybe like a six foot square area of the store and that just be all their items and they'd be for sale. And then some other people might have stuff like if they had clothes, if they had clothes, maybe it'd be on clothing racks. If they had like jewelry, maybe be in a display case. You know, action figures, you know, some of them might have been loose. They might have been in a bin. Some might have been on cards. And maybe they were hanging on a, like a, a peg rack. And I, I was walking past one of these these glass displays. And then I saw this guy. It like it like called out to me. I didn't know what it was. And I all I knew is that this was someone's interpretation of Chewbacca. And I, I couldn't stop laughing. I, I think... <laughs> the horrible thing is I think I might have paid a lot for this. Maybe I paid like I want to say maybe like $38 or 40 bucks. I know that I didn't pay I I know I did not pay anything below $20. But I do know I paid enough for it whereas one of those things where I was like sweating at the back of my neck cuz I'm like I don't know if I want to buy this, but it was like a once in a lifetime thing. I knew I would never see anything like this again and I haven't. And then I bought it. And then I took it home and I bought it and I took it home. And then when, when the lady like wrapped this for me at the store, she put it in this like brown paper bag. <laughs> and then I remember my brother was home and then he was in the kitchen and I just sat this thing on the, on the um, kitchen table and I took the bag off. And then the minute he saw this, he couldn't stop laughing for like two or three minutes. And then I knew I had like, I had gold on my hand. And I've loved this thing for like the longest time. Um, I don't know what it is, but I do know it's Chewbacca. Uh, he has he has his trademark strap running here, and this is Chewbacca piloting the Falcon because he has his headset on, and then he's in front of the the the, the council, 
And what's crazy is that this console, I'm not sure if the camera will catch it. On the inside, there's like a, over here, there's a light bulb rigged into here. And you can plug this in and turn it on. But I think the last time I tried turning it on, I don't think it worked. So then he glows, he, li he lights up in the dark. And then I, th I believe this control panel lights up also. But I've never seen one of these. One of my friends claims that he saw one once. And then he hypothesized that maybe this was um, not necessarily mass mass produced, but like we have a couple of stores out where I live where they're kind of like craft stores, but it's more like a pottery shop where you pay like maybe like 20 to like $40 and you get to spend a day in there like sculpting something or maybe pre-painting something that's already made. Uh, like there's a, there's a shop next to me uh, about maybe like five minutes away from my house. It's at one of the outdoor malls. And you could, they have like a bunch of pre-made sculptures, a lot of ceramics. And you could just come in and paint them and glaze them yourself. And then, you know, they'll throw them into the kiln and whatever. And they have some licensed characters. Like I remember they had a Yoda and they had an R2-D2. So I'm kind of curious if this is what that guy falls into. But he looks, this looks pretty old. So I'm kind of wondering if this came out like around between New Hope and Empire or between Empire and Jedi. Because the likeness is horrible. I can't imagine Lucasfilm, you know, allowing something like this to be made. Because it looks like Sasquatch. It looks, it looks more, more man than Wookiee. And there's a video I did. I'm not sure if I uploaded it yet, but I plan on doing it soon. Um, I bought this like crazy action figure. I'm trying to find it right now. Where the hell is it? I just had it out here. So yeah, I bought this crazy Bigfoot action figure. Um, if I didn't put the video up on YouTube yet, I will soon. And it looks... Here's Bigfoot action figure. And <laughs> here's Chewbacca. So, alright, I was on the fence with this guy. I was, like, every now and then I'll just comb around eBay or Amazon looking for weird stuff. Um, most of the time I'm just on there just looking for bargains, you know. I like... Looking for cheap action figures, and I'm addicted to like this shopping online. I love the idea that I could place an order like at five in the morning and have it delivered to my house, like you know, by the afternoon or evening. And then I saw this guy on Amazon, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to get this. It looks really funny. It looks really cool. I love Bigfoot. I love the idea of a big Bigfoot action figure. But I was just, it, it's not like this was expensive. I don't. I think this was under twenty dollars. Maybe it was like eleven or fourteen bucks. But I was on the fence about it. I'm like, I don't know if I want it. And then I turned around, and then next to me was this guy just staring at me. And I'm like, oh my god, this action figure it looks like this dude. So for me, it's kind of like, you know, here's bootleg-looking Chewbacca. And then I'll have a bootleg-looking figure of this guy. So it's kind of like all of a sudden the stars aligned. And then it was like I got an action figure I never knew I needed that represented not only Bigfoot, but also kind of looks like bootleg Chewbacca um, yeah it was cool and I don't know there's there's a some I love Chewbacca Chewbacca is a dope character uh, he, he's not necessarily one of my favorite Star Wars characters but growing up I always enjoyed the fact that him and Han Solo would go on adventures together and they were kind of like buddies and partners and I loved the Solo movie I thought it was a great uh, telling of how Chewbacca and Han Solo kind of like paired up and you know that's kind of like the origins of their legacy and speaking of Chewbacca here's a Chewbacca action figure just so you can see how much they don't look alike at all um yeah I just love this weird looking Chewbacca ceramic statue it's weird it's beautiful and ugly all at the same time his, he has this expression in his eyes. It's just kind of like... It's kind of sad and lonely. It's like this thing has life to it. Um, every now and then I kind of wonder if this is kind of like a horcrux. Like in Harry Potter. Like if there's like some sort of weird spirit attached to this. You know. Because I, I watch shows like... You know like Ghost Adventures and like... Any of those kind of weird like ghost hunting kind of shows or paranormal caught on camera and stuff. And every now and then they talk about stuff like Dybbuk boxes and 
Ouija boards and haunted possessions. Like, you know, pe someone might buy like a weird doll at a garage sale and next, you know, it comes to life and it like brings havoc upon the family. But I don't know. I get nothing but good vibes from this guy. I kind of feel he's kind of been my weird good luck charm. Of course, I've never been lucky in the in the in the world of love and women, so maybe this guy is more about just me being lucky in other aspects of my life. Just look at him. He looks so serious. He looks so sad. He looks so lonely. But it's kind of like a weird version of Chewbacca. I really hope that of all the videos I post onto YouTube, I really hope this guy gets the most views. <laughs> In some lights, he even kind of looks like the Burger King when they kind of had their weird-looking mascot. I don't know. This guy's awesome. Yeah, so this was a very different video. It's not necessarily an action figure, but this is Star Wars related. Um, this is one of my most prized possessions. It's a weird ceramic Chewbacca statue. I love him. Um, I hope you can love him too. So... Once again, my name is Lou. Uh, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate you spending time as I rambled on about this very unique and odd collectible. So, take care and come back anytime.